Hello, my name is Matt Knopf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom-built natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Porter cable, the 5500 watt. Uh, we'll show you the propane steps on that, how to convert it, and then we'll also show you how to be able to use natural gas, and we'll go ahead and start on that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we have to mount our adapter between the uh, air cleaner and the gasoline carb. So we'll go ahead and remove the hose here. Go ahead and set that to the side. There's two screws on the front of this uh, air cleaner cover. Let's go ahead and remove that. This is a real nice, simple little unit to do. Go ahead and pull it and make sure your filter comes out. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next procedures on that. Okay, now that we've exposed our cover here, we're going to go ahead and remove the back cover on there. Just get your socket there and get those off. And this way we'll expose the gasoline carburetor. Okay, make sure you don't tear your gasket up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we gotta replace these studs. The adapter we're gonna install, uh, these are too short. All right, so we're gonna supply you new ones here. Now what we'll do is go ahead and remove just one at a time is what I do. And then we'll go ahead, and these are a star bit. Uh, these are four millimeter. Just go ahead and remove one of them. Pull it out. Install the new one in. And then these will go in, you know, you'll go in pretty deep in the back, at least a half inch. But you want to be out about a quarter of an inch sticking out further. Maybe three-eighths of an inch this way. It gives you enough room. And then we'll go ahead and take this one off. Install this. I apologize if I get in the way at times. It's kind of tough to move the camera around on me. But we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you the next procedures on it. All right, now we've got our new uh, studs installed on here. Um, this is the adapter we're going to use for this. This will install between the gasoline carb and the back of the air cleaner. So use your existing gasket there. Go ahead and install our adapter on. And then we fit set this where you still have clearance for your choke to be able to run gasoline, okay? So go ahead and do that. And we'll get our gasket that we'll supply you with it on there. Go ahead and install your back cover. And you can see there's plenty of room. So you can even screw them in a little bit farther if you want. You got plenty of room there to get these on there. So we'll go ahead and install the nuts back on. And then we can get the air cleaner back on. Okay, got that. Now we go ahead and put our air cleaner back in. Put our cover back on. And that step is as easy as that. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's nice having the custom adapters for them, you know, per the unit. And then just makes it a lot nicer for you. Uh, to be able to install something that's custom made for the unit, you know. So go ahead, get that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and install our tube back on. Everything will go back in there the way it was originally. Um, we're not extending it out. And I know you can't really see this. Well, all I'm doing is pushing the hose back in where we pulled it out. And that concludes that step of everything there. We'll go ahead and show you the next procedure. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. Now, this will all come pre-installed for you, uh, so you won't have to tighten anything in. Now, the, you can't really come over here. The exhaust is on this side. You don't want to be in the way of the rope. It's too far of a run for over there. This is your best position up in here, okay? I just went right off where the bend was just so I got enough room for the pull rope, everything's good there. And this center to center that you're mounting this is five and three quarters center to center. So what you're gonna do is just set it up there, make your marks, okay? And then I have a little punch, just come down. This way it 
your uh, drill bit doesn't wobble on you. And then I drill them out 930 seconds. It's clear it's for quarter inch. It just gives you a little bit of room. And let's go ahead and get this drilled. And it's just a hollow tooth. a countersink bit just to clean the burrs up you can just use a piece of sandpaper you know but I just clean them up a little bit gives you a nice clean little setup on there all right and then we'll again supply you the hardware for all this so go ahead and install your flat washer your bolt We'll get that set up there, and I will grab the uh, the longer ones. This is going to take a little longer ones, so I'll grab those, and uh, we'll show you how the mounting steps go on that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and mount the regulator up here. Again, we'll supply you all the hardware with it. Just go ahead and get them lined up there. Slide them through, hold them up. We'll give you the flat washers for the back. Lock washers and nuts. Get that on there. One more here. We'll go ahead and lock those down. All right, that's that step there. We'll go ahead and show you the next procedure. Okay, now our, really our last step to do on this is go ahead and get our hose connected from our adapter to the regulator. Um, we'll go ahead and slide this on here. And before I tighten everything down, I just kind of slide it on, get the hose a good fit so it's not kinked up and stuff. Lay it up on the, get it up there and then just kind of turn it if you need to. And then what we'll do is we'll give you a tie strap. You can go ahead and get a tie strap put on here. That'll keep you from moving around back on that side there. And then just go ahead and lock down your clamps. And the last one here. And we'll get ready to show you how to run this. Okay, now... I've got this hooked up for propane right now, okay? This will be the regulator you get, your hosing you get. Um, comes with the bushing and the fitting up here. Um, you'll just go ahead and tighten this up on here. You don't need a uh, pipe compound on this here. It's a flare fitting. And you don't also need it up here on your POL. Um, let's go ahead. Now, we'll preset everything here on your power adjustment. In is lean, out is rich. Now, every machine is different. This is your most crucial adjustment that you'll have on this unit here once you get that locked in you should be good to go you should never have to touch that so again we preset this um, and you should get a good start on it now on the back of this unit there's a primer button you're going to go ahead and turn your propane on turn your tank on slow so you don't get a vapor lock on it um, go ahead and open that up um, again on the back of the unit here there's a primer button hit that Turn your switch on. Make sure your gasoline cockpit is shut off. There is one already installed on this one. So you, as long as that's shut off, your gas is run. Never use your choke with an alternative fuel. Um, you only use that with the gasoline. So let's go ahead and try to get this going. This is a rope pull. Sometimes they're stubborn. Sometimes you get them to go right there. I said we'll preset this a lot of times you might have to adjust that most of the time you shouldn't have to um, now again this is the propane setup now there used to be a thing called tri fuel where you could run propane natural gas or gasoline times have changed a lot of things across the uh, country now are four ounces 
versus the six ounces of what this regulator is. So with propane, as long as your natural gas is six ounces at your house, then this will run all three fuels, okay? Let's say for instance that you have four ounce at your house. Well, this regulator will not work because it's designed and set up for propane. You would have to purchase another regulator to be able to run the natural gas on that. So, and then it, also with the natural gas, you won't have this connection here. You'll just run your feed right into this. Um, we also sell the uh, natural gas hose for this, um, which is open orifice. Uh, it's made by Parker Hannafin. It's a UL approved hose. Uh, that's what we use, but that's the procedures for this. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out a lot. Uh, again, this is a custom kit designed for the Porter Cable. Uh, it's the 5500 watt. If you're interested in the purchase of this, uh, this kit from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734 992 2648. Thank you very, very much and have a wonderful day.